Welcome to the randomized MCQ examination. This video tutorial is based on the online assessment tool on my exams. Let us begin with some tips on how to take the MCQ exam. First, the MCQ exam is written on the my exams portal. You will need to use a supported browser. The university recommends that Google Chrome for best experience on my exams. However, other browsers such as Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, except Opera Touch, are also supported on a laptop and desktop and can be used. Do not open more than one browse window while taking your exams on my exams. We have found that this slows down your device and you could also lose your exam submission. Remember to read the MCQ question carefully and also study the possible options carefully as well. We have found that a lot of students do not read the MCQ question carefully and as a result can misinterpret what is required. So remember, read the MCQ question carefully and study the possible options that are offered. How do you access the My Exams? The MCQ examination, as I noted earlier, will take place on a dedicated platform called My Exams. If you are not yet familiar with the platform, go to My Exams, https myexams.nisa.ac.za forward slash portal. You will need to log into the portal. To do this, you use your MyUNISA credentials this is your, your student number and password. Let us do a live demonstration to help you understand what is expected from you in this MCQ examination. So let us begin our live demonstration. The first step is to log on to the exam portal. Remember, the portal is myexams.unisa.ac.za. You then insert your user ID and your password, your user ID, your password, which you normally use to log into MyUNISA. Once you've got that, you simply click on login. You now have access to the My Exams portal. You will find that the, the modules that you have enrolled for, those that have been written on the My Exams portal are now available here. In this demonstration cases, I've enrolled for ADVOH001. So I need to find the module. If my module is not listed on the top section of the page, you will also find your module under sites. So all I do is I click on the module. I then go to online assessments. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll find online assessments. I click on online assessments. Once you click on online assessments, you'll be directed to the page, which provides you some information on the assessment. So for example, you've got the title of your assessment, you've got the time limit, and you've got the due date and the time. To start the assessment, all I do is I begin clicking on the title. You now see begin assessment. This information in the pink box is quite important. It confirms the date, it confirms the time limit. Just make sure you take notice of the time limit. And to start the assessment, all you do is say begin assessment. It now starts the assessment. So let me run you through the screen. On the top section, you will find the title. You will find the time remaining. Now this is very important because it allows you to monitor the time that you have remaining for your assessment. I scroll down and my first question. My first question is what does the abbreviation UNISA stand for? So that's the question. I can see the amount of marks, five points. I can also see that this is question one of three. So I know I've got three questions to complete. And this is the first question. The points, this question carries five marks. What does the abbreviation UNISA stand for? I've got four options. So all I do is select the most relevant option. In this case, my correct answer is University of South Africa. So I would select University of South Africa, option B, and then you will find it gives you the next option. You can click save or go directly to next. The system automatically saves. I now move on to the second question. So you will see on the screen question two of question three. UNISA is an ODAL institution. What does ODAL mean? Now in this case, I have four options similar to my previous question. Open distance e-learning, open dialogue e-learning, open dedicated e-learning, open development e-learning. I choose the best option. Option A, open distance e-learning. Once again, I can click save or I can simply go on next. And I come to my third question. So you'll see that this is question three of three. I'm not the final question. Watch carefully your time remaining. Which famous president studied a BA at UNISA in 1942 while in prison? Edgar Lungu, Joseph Kabila, Nelson Mandela, Peter Mutaraki. Correct answer, Nelson Mandela. Select the option and click on 
save to save it I can then click on submit for grading remember click on submit for grading once you've reached your final stage submit for grading it now takes me to the submission portal it says you're about to submit the assessment for grading click submit for grading if you really want to submit for grading otherwise click previous to return to the previous screen it gives me the cause name it gives me the creator and the assessment title once I'm ready I simply click on submit for grading it now confirms the submission cause name creator assessment title number of submissions confirmation number submitted and all I do is click continue you've now completed your assessment well done on behalf of the Department of Tuition Support, Facilitation and Learning, we thank you for joining us in this tutorial and we wish you all the best in your upcoming examinations. Good luck.